Hi guys, Lee Machine Painting here on my messy desk before things get straightened out. Uh, probably still going to see a bit of mess on this board because this is what I paint on. I usually put just a bit of tissue down, but I've got a, a little review, a little look at a little treat that I got. Um, before I'd done my index books reviews from Forge World, uh, I really had this model. Now, whether I continue to collect this army or just paint this and keep it as a display models or keep them there for maybe a future product or I paint them and sell them, I do not know yet. But I got this model, so we're going to have a little unbox. And it is the HQ squad for the Deathcore Krieg. So let's open this bad boy up and have a little look. Okay. Here we go guys, Deathcore Krieg HQ Command Squad, sorry about the funny angle uh, and the situation if you saw my other books uh, reviews for the Forge World Index books you would kind of know why, this is rough and ready, I'm getting some videos out, um, quality hopefully over time will improve. <laughs> so. Uh, don't go hitting that thumbs down just because uh, it's a funny angle and I've got a, I'm sat here in my shorts in the hot weather and whatnot. Yeah, no crutch shots, hopefully. So let's get these out. Can I get these out? She's still got these little, little bases. I don't like these little tiny bases, but I think I guess that's going to suit them. I might actually end up getting some uh, secret weapon trench books. So let's get these out, let's have a little look. So, this is the first guy. So, hopefully that's focused. So from what I can see, the cast actually doesn't look too bad. No, not too bad. I'm not sure obviously which one he is, but he's, or well maybe he's the standard bear because he's got like a, little cut into his arm where a pole would go. He's got a pistol. It looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. I think these models are quite dated really. If you do them right they could look good as an army. Not too bad. I don't know if they're dated, I don't know. It's just something about the feet and the ankles. So that's him. I think he might be the standard bear. This guy, I'm not sure again, I think he's the Voxcaster by the look of it. So, this is the Voxcaster guy. So, you can see the similar body. He's got a little bit of more on his helmet on the side. A bit more kind of wiring and whatnot. And, uh, and then you've got his, in his hand, which is quite a nice little thing, he's got, all, he's got an iPad. No advertising. No, he's got a, a pad of some sorts of his directions, his Vopcaster backpack thing there. So he's pretty cool. He's got his hand coming up to his ear, up to his radio bit, to muffle out some of the external noise. So I think that's the standard bear. He looks logically like the uh, Voxcaster. And then we've got like a normal, uh, you know, this is their security, this is a bodyguard. Guy with just a large rifle or hot. Or a shot rifle or whatever it is, I don't know, probably a large rifle. Bug standard. Again, the there's no kind of slide or slip in the cast, so I'm quite well, these models have been around for a while, I'm quite chuffed. Hopefully maybe Yeah, there's not even there's no lines or anything. There's a little bit of fluffy stuff to obviously just scrape off, but there's no mould lines or anything on them. Really nice. Really, really nice. So you get these space rings, you get like the line over the over the helmet. You've got a yeah all over the bloody helmet, it's a pain in the ass. So he looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's him standing there, keeping an eye out. And these guys don't give a toss if anyone just gets shot in there next to him and dies, they don't care. So he's probably not shitting himself. I was gonna say he's probably stood there shitting himself, but he's probably not, these death core guys are the hardcore. Another guy, slightly different stance, he's uh, again, bodyguard, whatever. 
security. He's, he's the security watching their backs. Before something big comes in and just kills him in one shot anyway. And then you've got the standard bear. Now when I saw the pictures on um, Facebook it shows all these models in the separate parts but I didn't see this pole but in the picture when they're all put together you've got this pole and I was thinking oh shit have I got to craft one myself but no here you go here's your brass brass rod which is a nice little touch because it's actually a brass rod and not a thin piece of resin that would easily snap and bend so they kind of had to do that that's good well done your bases there's an arm stuck or something stuck oh. come here it's the top of the uh, standard so let's have a look here so you've got the top part which is slightly bent is that it's not stamped off now because it'll go no, no, no. so you've got just a little eagle very really romanesque and you've got the standard itself which isn't too bad a little touch nice little standard nothing too excited on the back got some bars on it that you can put in some writing off their conquests that they've been part of or whatnot and then you've got the main dude with a big chunk of flash there which is okay little mold line down the side there tiny bit it's just nothing just underneath this cloak there so he seems to be the only one that's got a bit but not on his helmet which is the best place not to have it and all the detail on his chest and everything it looks fantastic holding his little sword there he looks quality. I think I've got to keep him just purely on how nice that model looks. He's got his cloak just straight on his shoulder. He's holding his sword and his sword comes up back out underneath at the back there. But yeah, he looks quality. Really nice. Can't wait to paint him up. Going to use a grey, periscopy, bluey kind of uh, looks something like what's on the Vogel sites anyway I think but I've always wanted to do them in a periscopy colour with some touches of vibrancy here and there maybe a flash of red on his sash across his chest just to draw the eye at something maybe a gold crown to his helmet um, I think the gas masks over the nose they look they've got ripples in them so they might be cloth with then the metal Breathe a bit on the bottom, he's got a chin strap which could be gold trimmed. Got some sashes coming down, he's got boots on, with trousers, yeah. Look forward to him, look forward to painting him. Nice little model, he's definitely stands out, which he should do. Uh, but a nice little group. Now, I do already have some um, Deathcore I bought a year or two, or maybe even three years ago from someone on on eBay, uh, wasn't too pleased with some of the quality, let's see if I can find them. See how light grey these guys are, I don't know if you'll be able to see how, I don't know if these are fakes, I hope they're not. No, I don't think they are. But it's like little air bubbles, or maybe these are like really old when they first come out and they've just improved, Forgeworld have improved, so can you see the difference, how dark this one is? Now, it's a little, little bubble in the back of his coat, this is all like, see how look? Whole, what's all this? You know, it's all really poorly done. Was it this bad when these guys first come out? Got a great big bubble in his movie. Really, it's just a like It's a different kind of word that I got ripped off. I did complain to eBay. I can't remember what happened because some of this was broken. There was bits missing. Um, I just how, how bad the flash is on this. And I would never ever buy fake. Not knowingly. This is just like really badly done. Um, but there was bits missing, so I couldn't put this all together. There was just some 
random little shoulder pad bits and all on here which are so tiny I don't know but yeah there's some bits missing which obviously when you buy something it's a uh, water can even the barrel's got it just doesn't seem right I actually snapped off and I had to super glue it back on that turned up snapped off uh, it was just thrown into a little bag it kind of gave the whole like they've done this themselves they've but maybe it was I can't see I don't know maybe it was that poor when they first come out I hope not but so I've never put them together they just sat there for years and then I've got uh, from the same at the same exact same time <laughs> these guys let's just take them out there's bits in here which are just so brittle and kind of makes me think they've cast it themselves horrible seam lines on his boot it was already glued on which is disappointing because I need to paint the little bloody guy maybe they were this bad and there's just like tiny little bits there's just like great big air bubbles in the piping it's all snapped it all turned up like this years ago great big air great big bubbles I don't even know if you can see if it's focusing on that but there's great big bubbles in these pipe bits and uh, it's just see how much this like flash everywhere and the canister snapped off and it was just with a great big air bubble where it should be and horrendous so at the time this was what put me off death call but looking at these guys this is a different resin this is quality this is proper proper stuff this I don't know what this is so even like it's got such big holes and pits and then they're here it's not like this, it's not like the solid, solid forge world. So yeah. But I didn't know. I was faithfully bought them. What a mess they are. I wish should still paint them at some point, uh, I guess. But they're already glued together so you've got... I hate that, I like painting them without the arm so you can get into the body properly. I don't even know what I need to put in here now because I don't know what I'm going to lose. But anyway, so that's that, guys. That's the uh, that's the command squads. Lovely looking models. Um, like I say, whether I continue then and do an army of them or not, I do not know. I've always wanted to, but I do also like the renegades. I love the the rules. The, the slightly crazy. If you looked at my book report, my uh, book report. <laughs> it's in your school. That's been a while. Um, if you looked at my index uh, report for the Adeptus Astartes Forge World Index Books for 8th edition, um, you would have seen seen what my ideas and thoughts were, and maybe you could uh, refer to that and maybe help me out a bit, give me some ideas, let me know what units you think are good and what I should do. Deathcore with the, the options that I said on that one, uh, you'll find that on my list of videos all these guys but good models I like them anyway thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe I really appreciate it if I can help me build as many viewers as possible as fast as possible uh, I'm throwing a load of videos all together at once here just get a lot of loads up and then I'm going to try and do a bit of editing and see what I can do but yeah thanks for watching guys really appreciate it um, let me know what you think about these guys let me know what you think about the rules for them if you've got the index book and let me know with reference to my other video the things I ask and think about that maybe let me know what you think I should go go forward forward what I should do anyway great great nice to meet you guys take care